guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the best real estate ETF for 2024. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do, hit that like button and subscribe. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Carter. I'm a full-time trader in the stock market and we do have very, very exciting news. We have a trading school where we talk about my strategies, my mindset, how I find these stocks. We have scanners, we have live streams, quizzes, lectures. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. And you guys can use code YouTube to get 20% off. So I'll see you in there. But guys, let's dive into the best real estate ETF for 2024. Let's go. So a lot of people think you need hundreds or hundreds of thousands of dollars to get started with investing into real estate. What if I told you you could invest into one of the largest and best real estate companies in ETFs for under $100. Yes, Vanguard has an amazing real estate ETF, ticker symbol VNQ, for $88 a share. Now, the reason why I love this is because it offers over a 5% dividend, meaning for every $10,000 you have invested, you're getting $500 in free cash flow that can pay your car payment, pay your mortgage, your bills. And the reason I love this one on top of the dividend is because because this one here packs all the best real estate companies at an affordable price. So it's a win-win for everyone. Now, the only drawback to this ETF is the growth isn't the greatest. In the past five years, it's grew about 1%. And I know people are saying, Carter, well, it's underperformed the S&P 500. Yes, but one of the main reasons why a lot of people invest into this, one is because the dividends. The dividends of 5% is where you're gonna be making most of your money out of this. Number two, real estate in general doesn't grow as much as like the S&P 500, which grows at about 10% per year. Real estate only grows at two or 3%. So you have to understand that with real estate, especially lately with high inflation, high High interest rates real estate hasn't been doing the greatest you know we all know during the lockdowns real estate was popping and everybody was buying real estate and then once interest rates went up everything kind of slowed down now another reason why people invest into this is to be diversified if you only have money in the stocks you could be missing out on opportunity elsewhere with investing so this is a very very solid ETF that you can invest in and be very very diversified and the top three holdings in here are some of the largest real estate companies in the entire United States and in the entire world now holding number one is Vanguard's real estate index it's pretty pretty much just like investing into the real estate market, just how people would invest into the S&P 500. It only grows at about two to 3% per year, but it's a great way to get diversified into real estate, but for a very, very affordable price. Now holding number two is ticker symbol PLD. This is actually the largest real estate company in the entire world. It offers a whole bunch of things. It invests into several different types of real estate, whether it's single family homes or even apartment buildings or even commercial buildings. It invest and do a lot of things and guys this here offers great dividends it offers solid growth and we've seen a ton of growth out of it in the past couple of years which is great now holding number three is one of the largest wireless communication company in the entire united states and this is american tower pretty much this company owns and operates a whole bunch of communication broadcast systems as well as wireless communication it's a fun way to invest into you know something you probably don't even really think about honestly but american tower offers great dividends it offers great growth and we use our phones we use the radio all the time and this is where this company makes a good chunk of their money off of. but overall this is by far the best real estate ETF that I would highly recommend it has amazing companies in it and I cannot stress it enough of solid growth being diversified and that passive income now the best strategy and the best approach that I would have with investing into you know this ETF is to dollar cost average it. Investing consistently, you know maybe once a week or every other week is a very good way to invest into ETFs because if the ETF starts selling off a little bit and you know we get some sell off, you're buying those dips. Now once it recovers, your average cost is lower, so you can make a lot more money in the long run doing that. As well as what I would highly recommend doing is making sure you have a broker that offers drip dividend reinvesting. You know being young you don't need dividends right off the get-go you know in a, in a great way to make more money in the long run is to use those dividends and reinvest those dividends back into the ETF now there's a whole bunch of great brokers out there like Robinhood or Fidelity or Thinkorswim that offers drip so automatically reinvest them 
back into this ETF, you guys can look at this chart and definitely see the main difference between reinvesting your dividends and not reinvesting your dividends in the long run. So the biggest recommendation, reinvest those dividends, dollar cost average it, and honestly, just have fun with it. Make investing fun. You know, this is like investing into some of the largest companies in the entire world, but for $88, which is awesome guys. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.